During the second day of the Club of Madrid annual conference, three speakers and two discussants spoke about and analyzed whether politics as usual stands in the way of innovation. Many democracies teeter on the brink of financial ruin because of the indecisiveness of their basic institutions of governance. Mashing up recovery data, mashing, mashing up auditing data, mashing up the kinds of information that government is putting out and putting it in the hands of citizens who can then go look at the project and report whether it's happening or not. It can be pretty powerful in places where public funds are not being spent well. And finally, uh, it's always important to remember that citizens are taking government into their own hands. <clears throat> this is uh, maps created uh, in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, using OpenStreetMap. Citizens created these and then put them online. Uh, made them downloadable, and then aid workers were able to go take their GPS devices and navigate the streets. Yo creo profundamente que la política tradicional es un freno a la innovación, es un freno al uso de la tecnología. Es más, creo que la política tradicional está en riesgo frente a las nuevas formas de comunicación social y las redes sociales. Politicians are using it, the web and vice versa how the web is using them. Um, I'm going to start, since our topic is uh, politics as usual and how it may stand in the way of innovation, um, I want to start with a video that I think is, uh, will make very clear a particular kind of politics as usual. So it's a question of how uh, each generation is going to be with this new kind of technologies. And number two, Number two has to do with, to what extent, in the question that you raised, for instance, who is going to be the owner of the data? And are you going to be willing to open up that, that data or not? And who is going to make the decision? Commercials, going back again. In the fifth power, we decided that there is some rules of engagement. Not to say nasty things, like in the network normally you have, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we decided that we can establish some censorship with some articles that are sent to that. But that means that the articles are going to go to a special part in the web. So that if you want to know why that article was censored, you can read the article. Mm -hmm. Which is, you see, it's a two-way thing. Huh? Uh, therefore, it's open, no matter what you say, but it's in a different place. My point is that or my, my feeling is that uh, people uh, are really interested in a debate, a debate among uh, politicians with the support of, uh, of professionals, uh, with journalists, uh, if, if they feel that people there are sincere. They all highlighted that long-term innovation is desperately needed. Despite partisan politics, the need to win elections in the short term always seemed to get in the way. My comment would be, first of all, not everything in the future is uh, bright, and you are putting your finger on one very, very important problem, which is in an age of abundant connectivity and abundant information, uh, and many more voices entering the public sphere, the first result is just more noise. Um, and we need better filtering systems to help us pull the signal out from the noise. It's very early. And very difficult to do it. And very, no, but it's not, this yeah. is a great challenge and, and there are lots of uh, companies that are beginning to solve it. I will just answer with an analogy. When the printing press was invented by Gutenberg, there was a flood of new publications. Not just the Bible, and not just pornography, but people started writing and publishing all kinds of things. Mm. A footnote to what you say is the following. It took 200 years after Gutenberg that somebody decided to have a newspaper. And because you have a newspaper, then some French philosophers decided uh, 50 years later that it was possible then probably to have a democracy. Because if all of us are going to know what's going on in the public sphere, then why only the prince is going to rule the country? 
What about the rest of us that know what's going on? In other words, are we? How many years since the way that Gutenberg, mm -hmm. the new Gutenberg, which is a social network, what is going to be the end? I think that we are in the middle of the way, right. but still the way has not finished. Because still we have not discovered the newspaper. El futuro no puede estar en manos de oficinas cerradas. Eso me parece que ya está cuestionado. Me parece que está cuestionado que las regulaciones financieras queden en manos solamente de algoritmos. Esa es una cuestión y de, de expertos financieros. Y hay que pensar entonces en oficinas que piensen en largo plazo con la participación de más actores. De todos, no sé, eso implica un nivel de educación diferente, pero más actores estoy seguro. Y eso tiene que ver con también lo que dijo Román en el sentido de que nada desaparece, se va integrando. Entonces no es que desaparece la televisión, no desapareció internet, no desaparece tampoco la política y la representación. When you preached in the synagogue, everybody was sleeping. When he was driver, the driver was driving, everyone, everybody was praying. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> In this conversation, it was discussed how to create effective institutions.